It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm at the Barry Beer Festival 2019 with Barry. How are you doing, Barry? Hey, nice to meet you. You right? Good, thanks. Brilliant, yeah. Uh, this is the Saturday. I've come for the Saturday. Uh, what type of beers have we got on, Barry? So we've got 11 cask ales on. Yeah. Various different ones from APAs. We've got some stouts. We've got porters. Fantastic. We have a couple of different uh, IPAs and stuff. We also have a green lager, which is uh, quite nice, called Tidy from Bang On Brewery. I'm going to start with that, that sounds interesting. So let's just grab the camera, let's just get going with this. I'm going to come round. I'm going to get, we're going to have a look at the pour of this. Here we go. Do you want me to hold it? Or do you want no, to hold you it? carry on. So it's Tiny Bang on Brewery, she's a... Uh, Bang on Brewery from Bridgend, yeah? There she goes. Oh, look, look at, at this. Look at the colour on that. It's quite a fruity uh, flavoured one, nice and sweet. Do you know how they got the... Is it a colouring or is it something like a natural... Here you but go, they've Papa. managed to get it green. Um, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you. We'll ask him when he's he comes. coming later on, so yeah, we'll ask him. And there's yeah. a, it was quite popular last night on our first night, one of our better sellers, and lots of people wanted to try it because it's so different. Brilliant. Okay, let's get back round then. Stick it on the tripod and uh, do a quick beer review. There you go. Here we go. Okay, so. Beer in the glass, green. This is the first time I've ever had a green beer. Uh, we got a one finger kind of white head. Uh, good, yeah, good levels of carbonation. Uh, with it being cask, slow, slow moving carbonation. Clarity, yeah, it's quite clear. Let's get the aroma. That's really hoppy. It's definitely a dry hopped, dry hop lager. Let's, uh, let's dive in. <laughs> oh, what's the ABV on this one? Uh, she is confirmed, what is it, 4%. 4% ABV. Really drinkable. That's exactly what I wanted. It's 12 o'clock of the day here. I wanted to come in, do a quick introduction before the festival really kicked off, got started. Um, it's, it's a really good kind of... Juicy lager. There's a nice bitterness on the back end, a really tidy brew, and there's a bit of kind of citrusy in there, a bit of lemon, a bit of grapefruit, that sort of thing. Um, Barry, talking about the festival, mm -hmm. I believe this is Barry's first beer festival. Yeah, it's the first time we, we've done it. Um, started last night, yeah. it's second day tonight, so obviously with our first Meet the Brewer session coming up in a moment. Um, it's been really good so far, we had a really good last night, like, busier for tonight and we're really looking forward to it. We've got some nice bands coming on later on, yeah, fantastic. good food served, we've got some ciders, we've got kegs as well, so yeah, and, a, and a gin bar. And a gin bar, I, I'm, I'm going to try a gin, I, I'm, this is very kind of new to me gin, but I'm definitely going to have a gin with you later on. Absolutely. Um, so, have you got plans for the future or is it too early to talk about plans for the future? No, I, to expand I, it? Yeah, no, the future's definitely to expand. It's been a bigger success than we thought, so mm -hmm. it's certainly viable to carry on doing it next year. We want to make it bigger and better, so um, we've done Barry Island Sports Social, brilliant venue, they've been really helpful to us, so we just want to grow it, more numbers to help them out. Yeah. And who knows in the future, we might end up with marquees and you know, bigger and better and more beers, more casks, that's the plan. Fantastic, yeah, I mean, we're quite lucky, we're on the coast, We've got beautiful coastline, we've got a great waterfront area as well, I mean, there's plenty of scope for growth. Absolutely. I can imagine them over the water, for Barry Waterfront, if you have been there, yeah. you've got the the little kind of areas yeah. where you could set up different, different stands tents. all the way down. You could have a whole thing, bands, and all the breweries and gins we got are all local as well. So like yeah. we've got a brew, uh, beer made from seaweed from Lantwick Beach, Yeah. so things like that. So we try to keep it nice and local to Barry and South Wales, so all yeah. the gins and all the beers will come from local breweries, which Fantastic. is good. Fantastic. And Lantwick Major, we're bang on uh, from this, but about nine miles away from here. We got, how many breweries do we have now in Barry? We got, we definitely got one in Vale of Glamorgan Brewery. Vale of Glamorgan, I think it is still just the one just in Barry, the one. but then you've got a couple a bit further afield. Yep, and I, there's talk that the the good shed that they're oh, building, sorry, yeah, the good shed, yeah. there's going to be a microbrewery being built in there. Oh, so okay, we'll have excellent. two. So we'll have, no, I mean, that would be great yeah, for Barry brilliant. to have two, two, two breweries in a, in a booming industry. Mm. The craft beer industry is, is booming throughout the world. And it's great. It's great that we haven't got to travel so far. No, it's brilliant. The Great Welsh Beer and Cider Festival used to be my local festival. Now it's this one. No more travelling to Sweden or Germany. <laughs> or I, well, I like to, but I don't have to anymore. I get, come to Barry. Absolutely. 
Um, this is this is a great beer. I like that. It's very unusual. First time drinking a green lager. That's an that's a nine out of ten. Stone the Crows nine out of ten from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Check out. Barry Beer, Beer Festival's Festival. Facebook page. Yeah. Um, they got a great page. A um, few hundred people liked it, or 500 people liked the page yeah, so yeah. far. That's, that's really good for the first year. And I imagine a lot of the towns people have got got behind this and supported We've this. had fantastic support, especially from the local businesses with sponsorship and, um, you know, we had two main sponsors on the cup here. We've got the Barry yeah. Mail Voice Choir and 1011 Local Pub. Fantastic. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been brilliant. The, businesses, the local people, so we've got well over 200 people ready to, for tonight, Brilliant. hopefully with and some nice local bands, so it, it's been much better than we thought, the love for craft ale is clearly there, so it's, it's a really good event and we're glad we did it. Oh, I, one more thing before we go, I've seen you've got food as well going on. That's, That's right, yeah, so the Barry Island Sports and Social, Lee and his team are putting food on tonight, so we've got curry, chicken, curry, rice and chips, Wicked. sausage and chips, all nice and cheap as well, less than, you know, five pound or less, so, and it's really good, I can speak for it myself, it's, it's good. We need the cabs, don't we? Absolutely. Yeah, we got so many beers to get yeah. through. We need the cabs to get through the day. Okay, thanks for joining me, Barry. Thank you very much. Make sure to check out Barry Beer Festival. I mean, a bit, a bit sure I know it's the day, but maybe come next year. Thanks for watching. Stone the Crows. Boom. Cheers.